Here's the more basic point. Never in our history has the United States defaulted on its debt. The debt ceiling should not be something that is used as a gun against the head of the American people to extract tax breaks ceiling at that time. That wasn't the deal that was available. But here's the more basic point. Never in our history has the United States defaulted on its debt. The debt ceiling should not be something that is used as a gun against the head of the American people to extract. Here's the more basic point. Never in our history has the United States defaulted on its debt. The debt ceiling should not be something that is used as a gun against the head of the American people to extract. The shooting on Saturday had something to do with the discourse in this country. No, it had something to do with the threats of violence in this country, not the discourse, but the threats of violence. When you show a picture of someone or use her name or represent her district and use it with a rifle sight the way Sarah Palin did, that is inexcusable. That is inviting people to commit violence on another human being. That is way over the line. You think Sarah Palin was way over the line? She knew it because she took down that thing from her website as soon as this happened. She knew she was over the line. She also put out a statement before the president did or any other officials. I mean, she was on it right away. But securing the lives of congressional members, what do we do? I think we have to protect our members of Congress. And if that means police protection the way we had at our public events, that's what we need to do. But we have to make sure that members of Congress can continue to meet with the public because that's our job. Well, they could do it with a guard there, couldn't they? Yes, that's exactly the way we did it. There could be a 24-7 guard on a, or at least most of the day, on a congressional member. Why not? I mean, if these gun advocates out there believe that guns are a deterrent, then why would they be against having an armed guard with them? Well, certainly at public events, it seems like a prudent way to go. Do you regret in your campaign depicting your opponent as Taliban Dan? There was no threat of violence in that campaign. I invite anybody to check and see whether I have incited violence against any other human being ever during the campaign or otherwise. The answer is no. I know where... I literally kick the hell out of anything. That's metaphor. That's rhetoric, right? Sharon Angle spoke of Second Amendment remedies literally. Here's her comment in context, as reported by the Reno Gazette Journal in May. Quote, what is a little bit disconcerting and concerning is the inability for sporting goods stores to keep ammunition in stock. That tells me the nation is arming. What are they arming for if it isn't that they are so distrustful of their government? They're afraid they'll have to fight for their liberty in more Second Amendment kinds of ways? Take it from the context in which she spoke. The Second Amendment remedies thing was not a metaphor. It was not rhetorical. It was Sharon Angle's analysis suggesting that people are going to shoot their way out of their current political situation. Stories, this is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. The Obama administration has acknowledged its continuing a Bush-era policy authorizing the killing of U.S. citizens abroad. The confirmation came from Director of National Intelligence Dennis Blair in congressional testimony last week. Blair told the House Intelligence Committee U.S. forces can assassinate Americans believed to be involved in terrorist activity against the United States. Blair said, quote, being a U.S. citizen will not spare an American from getting assassinated by American terrorist activity against the United States. Blair said, quote, being a U.S. citizen will not spare an American from getting assassinated by military or intelligence operatives overseas if the individuals working with terrorists and planning to attack fellow Americans. He added, United States. 
Blair said, quote, being a U.S. citizen will not spare an American from getting assassinated in terrorist activity against the United States. Blair said, quote, being a U.S. citizen will not spare an American from getting assassinated by military or intelligence operatives overseas if the individuals working with terrorists and planning to attack fellow Americans. He added, don't, we don't target people for free speech. We target them for taking action that threatens Americans. New process of law is thrown out the window. And Amy, when you consider new process of law is thrown out the window. And Amy, new process of law is thrown out the window. And Amy, when you consider that there are people who are claiming there are many terrorists self, new process of law is thrown out the window. And Amy, when you consider that there are people who are claiming there are many terrorist cells in the United States, it doesn't take too much of a stretch to imagine that this policy could easily be transferred to citizens in this country. Uh, that doesn't uh, that, that only compounds what I think is a, um, a slow and steady detachment from core constitutional principles. And once that happens, uh, we have a country then that loses its memory and, and its soul uh, with respect to uh, being uh, disconnected from those core constitutional principles which are the basis of freedom in our society. They're armed and they believe I know that every person that. should be armed. Everybody knows that. Okay, well then... Well, why did you bring a gun to all that? Person should be armed. Everybody knows that. Okay, all person that. should be armed. Everybody has fought for the right to keep and bear armed and they believe I, I know every all person that. should be armed. Every has fought for the right to keep and bear armed and they believe I, I know every all person that. should be armed. Everybody knows that. Okay, well then... Well, why did you bring that, a gun to a presidential is, event today? That, that's not even a relevant question. The question is, why don't people bear arms these days? Okay, let's anymore. ask... Okay, you bought a sign that said the Tree of Liberty has to be watered with the blood of tyrants and you're carrying a goddamn gun uh -huh. at a presidential event. Yeah, I that's, think those that's, things that's make not, people wonder what you're about. Right, right. The sign didn't say anything about blood. Uh, of course, what did it say? Uh, the It's time to water the Tree of Liberty. And where did that come from, uh, that line? A, it's a quote from Thomas Jefferson. And yeah. what's the rest of the line? No, the, the, the rest of the line is for people to look up. It's not a sound bite. They need to understand the context. What's the rest spoken. of the line from Jefferson? Jefferson. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of tyrants and patriots. Okay, well, you're carrying a gun and you're carrying that sign, and right. you don't think people should worry about you? No, I don't think people should worry about me. Well, let's, let me ask you about the history of people that carry guns to press all events. Tell me wow. that history, sir. Are you speaking of a particular event? I'm talking about people who bring guns to presidential okay. events. Well, in history. Well, I tell me tell your history. Tell, I'll tell you this, Chris. We just started new history. I was there today. Well, there, new there, history. Were, there was a peaceful, a peaceful okay. rally. No one was injured. Okay. No one on our side was alarmed. People in New Hampshire are used to seeing firearms. No one from New Hampshire right. was alarmed. Maybe some of the people they bust in from Massachusetts were alarmed, but we're not really concerned about them. Well, what is wrong with the people from Massachusetts? Um, you know, they already have their health care scheme and their socialism going in their state. They should probably keep it over there. Now, let me get back to your belief. Do you believe that our fundamental rights as a republic, the limited government, the notions that people are individuals are supreme, you believe all that's at stake here? Yes. How so? Well, it's not like this is, you know, out of the blue and all of a sudden it's at stake. This has been an ongoing process. Okay. This has been an ongoing process since uh, it, it was said, what type of government have you given us, okay. a republic, if you can keep it? People I, have I not been vigilant. We're going I'm down, with you. We're going I'm down with you. tubes. I'm with you on the press. Let me ask you, do you think Roosevelt was wrong to start Social Security? Yes. Was, was Johnson wrong to start Medicare? Yes. Where did we go wrong? Um... Was Teddy Roosevelt where, wrong? Where, 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 where did we go was, wrong? I start with the Federal Reserve Bank. Well, how about how about was Wilson wrong with what he did in terms of reform? The income tax was the income tax wrong. Uh, the income tax originally, uh, my understanding is, was instituted as a voluntary victory tax. No, and, it was instituted uh, as an amendment to the Constitution, direct taxation. Right. And you were against that too. Yeah, that that was that was later on. That came later on. Well, it came under Wilson. You think that was wrong? That was part of the loss of our republic. Um, it w it would be uh, there. There are better ways to do things. Okay, so so we've been on a slippery slope to the loss of our republic, and therefore you brought a gun to a meeting the president held today on health care. Um, 
Therefore, mm, I don't know about that. Um, I live in New Hampshire. I open carry many places. As I said, people uh, come up, they talk to you. People here are pretty used okay. to it. Okay, it, I want to be. I want to be polite. I, to I, 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 I know. I'm not. I'm, we're not in New York. We're not in Los Angeles. Oh, no, it's it's, not, like, brothers, it's not like people hit the deck when you walk past. Look, I have, I have members of my family, members of the NRA, that carry. They don't carry guns, but they believe in the right to bear arms, as many mm -hmm. Americans do. I'm not against that. Right. I'm asking, what do you bring to this discussion about health care by well, bringing a gun and that sign that you quote Jefferson from? What does that bring to a debate that this country is engaged in? And we're looking at your gun right now and your sidearm there. What did you, and it's loaded, you pointed that out. What are you doing to help this debate? Okay, well, sometimes when people are mired in their position, uh, you can try to pull them out of it a little bit, but sometimes if you... Uh, show the the other end of it uh, you can pull them a little bit in your direction clearly right. I'm not advocating violence clearly no violence took place today well, what are you advocating well I'm armed I'm advocating a, an informed society an armed society a polite society um, that's all there is to it uh, See, John, John John Lott has a great study University of Chicago more guns less crime um, people should read it okay well